Some of last episode, we saw this already. The cell games. Come on, perfect set of form. You can do it. Alright, there we go. I give up. I fought as hard as I could. But it's pretty clear there's no way I can beat you. So that's it for me. Enjoying his fight with Goku. <sighs> See, I realized what a shame it would be if one of them were to lose on a trial technology. But to sell surprise, Goku announced that he throwing in the towel. Believing that Gohan. Oh, self destroy stage. Gohan Strafen has surpassed his. Goku entrusts the fate of Earth to Gohan. However, if Goku has misunderstood. Even though Gohan has obtained greater strength, he is still a kind-hearted youth. The truth is, I hate fighting. And I don't want to kill anyone. Believe it or not, I don't even want to kill a bad guy like you. So I decided he's going to propose, I mean, purposely anger Gohan to force him to reveal his true power so he Produce Cell Jr. to inflict pain to Goku and the others. Now, my precious little babies, see those seven spectators up there. Kill them all! Oh, and do have fun. <laughs> Guys, keep your guard up! These things are way stronger than they look! Damn it all! I'm sorry, guys. I messed up. I didn't think things would end up like this. Yeah! <laughs> 
right, Cell Juniors. Play time's over. Do as Daddy says and kill them all. Right now. I'm not done yet. You. You've changed. You got what you wanted, and I'll never forgive you! Are annoying. You brought this on yourself, Cell. Now you're finally gonna pay for all the suffering you've caused. Go on! What are you doing? Finish him! It's all up to you! What, do you want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. <laughs> Am I seeing things, or did he just puke up 18? That's that upper vinegar for you. I'll blow myself to bits! <laughs> I might die, but then so will all of you! This planet will explode in a burst of flame! If you lay a finger on me, boom! Bye-bye, Earth! No sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them! <laughs> Kennedy, right? I've killed us. It's all my fault. I could have finished him, but I didn't. <laughs> I... I know that look. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... Goku! No! You did good today, Gohan. Made me proud. Dad, what are you? Tell your mom I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it home this time. His, his energy, it's gone without a trace.
that was the most evilest thing Goku did in a heroic way. <laughs> Goku used intertransmission to bring both him and himself and Cell to King Kai's planet and save Earth from Cell's self destruct. Cell so fast, so fast, uh, he regenerated back his body and returned back to Earth to get revenge of Gohan and backfired. Yeah, this is the evilest thing Goku did because of he never brought this man back to life. Ever Take won't. care, okay? Live your lives to the fullest, and I'll see you again when you're dead. Bye could, bye. Could at least brought King Kai back to life. Earth may not have him there to protect it, but he's not worrying so long as it has Gohan and all of them. His future is in their hands now. That's what you think. Okay, now I'm in the blues art. Ugh. Here goes. Oh my goodness. Thanks to the Father Son duo, Goku and Gohan and Earth enjoy several years of peace until one day. Goku heard that Gohan has entered the world tournament and using the power of Force and Bobby, he returns to Earth for just one day to participate. Power upon me and another contester, a Supreme Kai, he learned that the terrifying Martian Buu is on the verge of resurrection. To prevent Bobby to return, Buu return, Goku step away from the tournament. He instead follow after the wizard of Bobby and defeat his subordinates. However, Bobby leverages Vegeta's desire to settle the score with Goku to brainwash him. Ah yes, one of the best Goku and Vegeta fights. Bobby uses powers to send Goku and the others back to the turn uh, tournament arena. Uh, are we back at the tournament arena? What's wrong with you? Not! Hear this of the spectators around them, Vegeta fires off a key blast. Goku used all his strength to try and stop it, but that didn't happen. I mean, it did happen, but not in that v way. Vegeta! Vegeta, tell me it isn't true. You let Bobbity Spell take control of you, didn't you? Because doing something like this would make me fight you. It's true, isn't it? If I hadn't gone to these links, we wouldn't be about to fight. I had one day, one measly day in which to beat you, and I wasn't going to waste it standing around on that ship. That was your reasoning? You killed countless innocents to try and repair your meaningless pride? Meaningless? What do you know of meaningless? I don't give a damn about Majin Buu. All I want is my fight with Kakarot. Here and now, I will emerge as the victor once and for all. There's no reason he ever should have bested me. He and I are both Saiyans. But I was royalty among our people. I was a prince, yet he prevailed. He... He even had the impudence to save my life before. And that is an indignity I cannot bear! Poverty! Move us to some place where there's no one else around! I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants, but not here! <laughs> All right then. Guess you can find somewhere else. <laughs> Vegeta and Goku are transported to another location, but Vegeta remains under Bobby control. However, it turns out to be Vegeta's single mind and desire to defeat Goku that allows him to shake off Bobby's total control. For you to go this far, you must have wanted to settle the score real badly, huh, Vegeta? Can't lie, I get it. This might take longer than I thought. It'll be over soon enough when I kill you! That's what you get! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Mega Man ass loser. I was saying. I already told you. The only thing that matters to me is this battle. Everyone else can die for all I care. You're lying. Deep down, I know your soul is still the same, Vegeta. That's it. Take care of this boo first. You wouldn't give me your best in this fight if you were too distracted. Vegeta! I have to, y'all. I have to get this over with. Just to get to the main camera. Because I want to lock Goku Black. Yeah. And that's Pop Belly was born. Goku attempted to defeat Vegeta and March of Boo, but Vegeta blindsided him and leaves with a sister beam. He then risked his own life to attempt to defeat Boo, by Boo himself. Farewell, Boma, Trunks, and even you, Kakarot. <laughs> However, just after Vegeta landed the final fatal blow, Marcha Blue immediately revived, going on to destroy the world with Bobbity, just as he wanted all along. Goku regains consciousness, and as he cannot sense Gohan Ki, he assumes he is dead. Now, he must think of a plan to defeat Marcha Blue. He laid upon a technique, the fusion technique, to his sons, Goten and Vegeta's sons, Trunks, which will allow them to combine into a fiercest powerful new fire. After hearing that Boo has gone to destroy West City, it de decided that Trunks will go rescue the Dragon Rayon. In an attempt to buy some time, Goku interrupts Martian Boo and shows the monster his fully awakened power. All right, Martin B. Kill this guy first. Right now! Who oh, here he is first time? Come on, big guy. Why is somebody as strong as you taking orders from a shrimp like Bobbity? Nobody asked for your opinion. Martin Boo is my loyal servant, and he obeys my every command if he knows what's good for him. regular old Super Saiyan. Then there's a level beyond Super Saiyan. But further beyond that... Let's do this already. I'm sorry this took so much longer than the others. But I haven't had as much practice with this one. This is what I call Super Saiyan 3. I don't. Who will? Dragon Fist! Who like you? And who really like fighting you? Who want to fight? 
<laughs> I consider it an honor. What are you waiting for, Martin Fu? Finish off this long-haired cretin already. We've got places to be. Throughout the battle, Bobbity has pushed Boo until his breaking point. Finally, Boo snaps and kills Bobbity outright. Goku talks to Boo about giving up his evil ways. Boo promises he'll stop, but only on the condition he can have Kenny and someone to fight. After traveling everyone and everything that happens, Goku used the Dragon Ball to revive the people that Boo has killed. He explains that wiping the memories of Marsha Bowen solve any issues and everyone agrees with his solution. The the reform Marsha Boo now lives happily at Castle Court and is a great playmate for Trunks and Goten. It's unbelievable! The dreaded Majin Boo living a peaceful, carefree life on a planet he once threatened? I never could have expected this outcome. Yeah, it's crazy, all right. But I'm really, really glad it worked out this way. It would have been such a shame for him to just die. Yeah, how do you figure? Well, Majin Buu was so strong that he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, even in my Super Saiyan 3 form, right? Think of how great a rival he'd be for the next generation of fighters, like Gohan and Goten. Plus, most of my fiercest rivals are now some of my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you might be the only guy in the whole universe who think a planet-destroying freak of nature would be a shame to let die. I'm serious, though. Honestly, I don't even think Boo would have been a bad guy to begin with if he wasn't manipulated by somebody as evil as Bobbity. <laughs> you may be right. Your track record shows you know how to bring out the good and even some of the worst people. <laughs> I just do what I do. With everything settled down now, it would have been really cool to fight Majin Buu at full power just one more time. But hey, maybe it'll happen someday. Here it goes! We write it. Oh. Hmm? Trunks is on the move. Hopefully that means he found the Dragon Radar and is leaving West City. Finally, Goku. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. He poured everything he had into training Goten and Trunks up until the very last minute. But unfortunately, the time for him to return to the lookout has come. Goku, I'm sorry, but it's about time we took you back to Otherworld. Right. I understand. <laughs> What's the matter, Goten? Uh, Goten, honey. Do you want to give your dad a hug before he goes? Aw, oh, was that all? You should have said so, son. Bring it in. Goten, you take good care of your mom for me, okay? <laughs> That's it, everybody. I'll see you all on the other side.
Goku, who uh, who has since returned to the other world, used intertransmission to be reunited with Gohan when he senses him training in the land of the Kai's. By chance, Gohan breaks Elder Kai's steel from 15 generations ago, and his latest potential is unleashed. Meanwhile on Earth, Goten Trunks have fused to become Gotenks. The Super Warrior put his all into fighting Majin Buu, but is ultimately unable to defeat him. A now power of Gohan then rushed to Earth to defeat Buu. Goku sees him off and watch on from the land of Kai's. Unfortunately, Gohan finds himself struggling against Buu, who has grown stronger after absorbing Gotenks and Piccolo. With Elder Kai Life Force, Goku returns to the living. He takes the Kai Patara earrings, which promise power greater than fusion, and head to Earth. Goku tries to use the Patara earrings to fuse with Gohan, but before he can, Gohan is absorbed by Buu, leaving Goku between a rock and a hard place. The Gia, meanwhile, is brought to Earth with the help of Fortune Teller Baba. Goku tries to ask him to fuse, but Vegeta rejects the idea outright. However, upon learning that Bomba has been killed and Trunks was absorbed, Vegeta has a chance of change of heart. Ha <laughs> I finally found you! It, Vegeta! The earring, give it here! This is my first time playing Vegito on this game. Kakarot together! Guess that makes me Vegito! And this! Okay, what's the point of speed? We're going to go for it. Push it. Everybody first time playing this character was online. Mine wasn't. That's why I brought it up. Super Vegito! Come in! Damn you! Damn you both! What? Not winning as easily as you thought? Don't be such a baby about it. If it means anything, even I'm surprised at how easily I'm kicking your face in. Just about enough fun for one day. So I'm going to give you ten seconds to say your prayers before I wrap this up. This is bullcrap! Alright, let's hope this plan is crazy enough to work. Vegeta finds just the right opening, then allowing himself to be absorbed by Boo. Vegito, I mean. At, at last, he rescues Gohan and the others and brings them to safety. However, by saving Marjan Boo in the form in which he first appeared, the Boo before them changed into his pure form, one that lacks all self control. Having become the environment of absolute destruction, he wrecks havoc upon Earth. The Supreme Kai helps Goku and his friends flee with the land of Kai's. But Boo won't be deterred. Learning into transmission, he goes after them. The battle that started to destroy the entire universe begins. Your strength is truly amazing, Kakarot. You've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. 
You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. First, I thought it was your loved ones. But it was your blind instinct to protect them that spurred you on, pushed you beyond your limits. And certainly that was part of it. But over the years, I realized there was more. Something else in the way you approach a battle. I used to fight for the sheer pleasure of it, sparing no one. I killed the dominance to feed my insatiable pride. But you need to fight to kill, or even to win, only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. You showed mercy to everyone. Oh, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. As if you knew one day I would possess the tiniest sliver of the soul. And here I am, fighting alongside him. You defy all logic. By some miracle, your compassion has rubbed off on me. And yet I still don't fully understand how you do it. How can a Saiyan fight with such power? And at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger, blind to the truth in so long. Henry Kakarot. You are number one. I don't know, but yeah, this boot is kicking my ass. Ooh, it's my first time doing that. I was hoping for better. Get ready to see my friends. Hey, Kakarot, you can finish him off on your own. Just charge your energy all the way and vaporize this monster. What do you think I've been trying to do? I just haven't had a chance to concentrate. I can't focus my power. It's just so hard when he keeps coming at me. I only need a minute. One minute, that's all! Fine, then I'll make my stand against him for the next minute. And while he's occupied, you power up! Oh, I see something. Maybe there's a what if right here. I'm the best Dragon Ball character is Hercule. Vegeta tries to buy time, but Marshall Buu defeat him. It is now that Mr. Satan appears and declares that he will vanquish Marshall Buu himself. Seeing this, Marshall Buu attempts to kill Mr. Satan. But the original Marshall Buu spit from Marshall Buu and began to defeat to defend Mr. Satan. However, he does not last long. Goku, who is supposed to have been building up his key, gets exhausted and in turn cannot sustain his transformation. Vegeta smiles wary. I'm sick and tired of these fucking bugs, man. Realizing that the tire. Hey, Supreme Kai oh, and Dende! Do you hear me up there? If you can, then yeah, say something, good. damn it! Vegeta! I think it's about time we let the people of Earth shoulder the burden for once. The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit ball. Even if I collect a little energy from all the people who were brought back, it still won't be enough to take down Boo. It won't just be a little bit. You'll get every ounce of spirit energy they can spare. <laughs> yeah, we want to use the spirit since I got it Help me out, open up. We're going to kill someone. Okay, We're going to kill that fly. <laughs> and you can speak not to just Earth. But the whole universe if you want! That's more like it! Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? 
I like this new side of you, Vegeta. Nice going. Here we go. People of Earth, give me your energy. We need you. It's ready. Go. You're an incredible warrior, Boo. It was you against the universe. You nearly won. I hope you can come back once more, but good. I want to fight you again, one-on-one, -on -one, without all the loss. I'll be right there waiting for you, only stronger. Later. The even watcher Boo is defeated by the spirit bomb and Goku and the others return safety to Earth. All the friends come out to greet him. To greet them. Including their family. You mean you can stay now? We can all be together like a real family? You and Gohan and Goten are back and there's no catch? That's right! I can't wait to get to Mount Pauzu and have some of your good old home cooking, Chi Chi. Oh, come on, Chi-Chi, why are you crying? I thought it was good news. It is. She's been through the worst. Goku is alive once more and has defeated Boo. Now he returns to his life as a family man. Yeah, Chi-Chi been through it. The God is special. PlayStation.